Groundhog Myoporum insulaire has shorter internodes, a finer leaf, a darker green leaf, and best of all, it copes better with frost and those annoying wet soils that doesn't quite die as easily, meaning that it prolongs its life if you get periods of long rain. It stops growing when it gets wet, but it doesn't die. So this plant is more forgiving in our Australian harsh environment. And of course, you can see naturally how low it grows. In flooding, Groundhug myoporum survived two floods, whilst many other forms died. From the breeding, the two best in floods we kept, but the obvious choice when selecting the best plant was the more compact, flatter one. All seedlings in breeding were chosen for compactness, but Groundhug myoporum stood out as the far more flat and compact type. We do not recommend it for excessively irrigated and wet areas as its growth is weaker. But this extreme wet soil testing shows it has more resilience in prolonged rain periods, providing a buffer for Australia's intermittent wild wet weather. This is more than four years old. It's covered beautifully and I expect it to gradually layer and get a little bit taller over the decades. Now it's ankle height, as you can see. Later it'll gradually layer and get up to maybe 20 centimetres in another four or five years and eventually maybe even up to 30 centimetres long term. Groundhog myoporum is also really tough. It's got a lot of great characteristics to it. Groundhog myoporum is not only frost and drought tolerant, it also copes really well with coastal windy conditions. Myoporum insulaire is well known as a fire resistant plant. So if you've got worries about fire, this one's a good choice. Soon after planting, keep the irrigation up for the first handful of weeks so that it establishes, and then fertilize if you ever need it to grow faster or look darker green. This is pretty flat, right? But just imagine the regular plant gets well over six foot, way higher than that. But this one stays really flat. One of the things our maintenance person has said he never has to do weeds in this area. All you really need to do is prune the edge once a year, maybe twice at the moment, but we're finding once a year a light prune around the edge stops it running out. That's about it. Oh, I did forget, occasionally, about every three years or so, just lightly prune the top, and that just keeps the, the height slightly lower. You don't want to take more than a third ever off, but realistically, you're probably only going to take the higher leaves and you're probably only going to take about 20% off. So that's about it as far as maintenance. It is low maintenance, that's for sure. Groundhug myoporum can also be used as bush tucker. When the berries become purple in late summer, you can actually make jams or jellies out of them. What a ground cover. Has to be the best for suppressing weeds, lower maintenance, for a dark green armour to protect your landscape. There's nothing better than Groundhug Myoporum.